I believe that ladies as a meme coin is in a sane hashtag Snoop Dogg's hairline, which is all the way back here. He has to shave his cornrows. And why is that? It's because when I first started talking about ladies, right? You know, the milady meme coin. Everyone thought that it was trash. It was doo-doo. It was caca. And they had somewhat of an argument because at that time, you know, FOMO wasn't all that high. Not much hype. But as of right now, when we fast forward to today, market cap nearly $180 million. Again, when I first started talking about it, market cap was around $60 million for those who know and who were there since the beginning. But here's the thing. When people, you know, were complaining about this, I believed in it, right? But all these critics right now who are complaining, they're not probably running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and begging for a used Broadworks extender to leave the captain edition because they can't fathom the fact that ladies is this high in market cap. But I did. But in my opinion, even despite that, I still think the best days are still ahead. Because I think that during the peak of this bull run, ladies could hypothetically at least go to a $5 billion market cap. And here's the thing. Do I think it's going to be a straight shot up? You know, no pullbacks whatsoever, just straight up? No, I don't think that's going to be the case. And of course, that's not financial advice. But historically speaking, you know, cryptocurrencies just in general, typically when they go up, they're not just going up like this in most cases, right? Usually it's up by a lot, pull back, up by a lot, pull back. But then the general direction is upwards. And I think that exact same thing is going to happen to ladies. But it's going to take some time because as of right now, Bitcoin all time high, Ethereum popping off, you know, a lot of these bigger caps, right? They're starting to really rise. But here's the thing. Eventually, what's going to happen? These people, they're going to get bored. They're going to think, ah, oh, man, we want gains again. What's going to happen? They're going to flow their capital into smaller projects, much like ladies. They're going to say, hey, what's this meme coin? What's this other meme coin? They're going to start FOMOing into that. And man, at that point, once altcoins really start rallying, that's when I believe ladies could hypothetically go to a $5 billion market cap. And again, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, in my opinion, even though that'd be so amazing for me. But again, I don't think it's going to happen overnight, right? It's going to take some time. But patience is key because a lot of people, you know, they didn't believe in ladies back when it was around, you know, $60 million in market cap. And now they're running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma. So again, right, you know, patience is key in my opinion. And here's the thing, right? Ladies, it's not all just show because it's the meme coin of the Milady NFT collection, which a lot of people, they seem to think it's caca because they think that, oh, you know, NFTs don't really have a bright future. But I disagree with that. When you think about it, the NFT market by 2030, according to Grandview Research, is expected to be worth around $211 billion. You know, that's bigger than some countries' GDP. So that's no joke, in my opinion. The NFT market has a lot of potential. So when people complain about the Milady NFT collection or when they complain about NFTs just in general, when they don't like that term, they should look at the data because the data shows that NFTs could still be so massive in the very near future. That's what she said. Get it? Massive. But yeah, besides that point, when it comes to a $5 billion market cap, right, for ladies, some people, they may think that it's so outlandish. They think it's crazy. But keep in mind, you know, Doge all-time high market cap, around $88 billion. SHIB, around $40 billion. So $5 billion, it's not too much to ask for. Now, here's the thing. People now, they're getting smarter. They're getting smarter than ever before because when you think about it, back in 2021, People didn't really know much about what a meme coin was supposed to be all about, right? At least those new investors, because a lot of people, they fumbled in to something like SHIB, like Doge, but they didn't really understand the nature of a meme coin, which is why back in 2021, we didn't really see that many meme coins really pop off, right? Yes, we did see, you know, some meme coins, but the most popular SHIB and Doge was what people really knew about. You know, there wasn't nowhere near this many meme coins, but again, it was understandable. People back then didn't know what a meme coin was all about. But a meme coin, in my opinion, people know about it now. They know that it's supposed to be fun. They know it's supposed to be exciting. And they know it's supposed to represent a very strong community. Back in 2021, everyone thought that, oh, why isn't this meme coin having such a strong use case? But that's not the point of a meme coin. A meme coin, again, right? It's not supposed to have the most revolutionary use case out there. It's supposed to represent a very strong community. And it's supposed to be fun. And that's exactly what ladies is representing, in my opinion. And here's the thing, when people complain that a meme coin doesn't have a strong use case, you know, that's like buying a Nissan Altima and complaining that it's not fast. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's a Nissan Altima. What do you expect, right? It doesn't make any sense. It's like hiring Chris Brown for an event and you're mad that he's twerking and dancing and singing on stage. That's Chris Brown. 
you know, if you don't want someone who's going to be dancing, twerking, and singing on stage, then why not get Susan Boyle, right? Susan Boyle, opera singer, I believe, or whatever song she's singing. But she's not going to be dancing or twerking, in my opinion, right? She's going to be there, professional, you know, just singing, you know, vocal ranges. You know, Susan Boyle, that's like quant. That's like Jasmine, a very fantastic project, right? Good vocal ranges. You know, it's not as fancy. It's not as fun. But again, that's what it's meant to be, right? You know, a uh, meme coin, much like ladies, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enthusiastic. It's supposed to be exciting. You know, you can't mix the two. Imagine if you put the lo logo of ladies with quant and you change the quant logo to ladies. Wouldn't match, right? Because one's professional, one's supposed to be kind of, you know, giving off a good experience. Or like a fun experience, you know, I should say. So, yeah, it wouldn't make sense. There's projects for what people like. For example, a t-shirt, right? For example, people use those corduroy jackets. I don't get why people even do that. Dust sticks on them. You know, it's just very hot. It doesn't feel good. Don't get why people want that. But hey, man, if they like that at the thrift shop, so be it. You know, there's something for people's tastes. And for me, I like meme coins, which is why I believe in ladies. And during the peak of this bull run, keep in mind, I think it's going to be legendary because currently there is around... 575 million people owning cryptocurrencies. You know, that's over half a billion people. As a matter of fact, that's more people than ever before in history owning cryptocurrencies, at least according to crypto.com research. And well, there's this many people, right? During the peak of the bull run, I mean, it's going to be insane. I think as of right now, it's a small taste. Yes, there could be pullbacks along the way up, but I'm going to keep being patient. I'm going to believe in its future and I'm going to continue to dollar cost average. You know, I'm not just dumping all in and FOMOing, right? A lot of people, they say, wow, you know, I'm going to FOMO in. I believe in this project, but I don't think, you know, that's a good idea. At least personally for me, that's not financial advice. But what I'm doing, right? I'm putting incremental amounts. Anytime I earn income, I set aside some and I just focus on the long term. You know, if I'm focusing on what happens to the price, you know, every couple hours, every couple minutes, you know, it could drive me insane. I don't want that. What I do is I just dollar cost average. I just keep accumulating more and more and more. And when it finally does go up, then yeah, I'm going to focus on it. I you know I'm not going to focus on it when, you know, it's popping off, you know, 2%, 3%. I'm not doing that, right? You know, who cares about that? Of course, I'm paying attention to ladies. I'm going to continue to make videos on the Milady meme coin. I'm going to keep doing that. But again, I'm not going to be hyper-focused on what happens day to day. I'm focusing on more so on the long term in a sense that I'm focused on that peak of the bull run, right? That's why every time I make a video, I keep saying, hey, think about, you know, the longer term in a sense that don't care what happens to the price, you know, in the next hour. You know, a lot of people out there, they day trade, they use leverage, they, you know, try to do all this nonsense, what the guru teaches them. But a lot of people, at least that I know, they get wrecked. I don't want that, right? I'm not a day trader. You know, I don't use leverage. I don't do any of that whatsoever. I keep things simple. I just dollar cost average. When I see a project that I like, I just acquire, I hold, and I just wait for the peak of the bull run. That's it. No fancy, you know, predicting this, predicting that in the short term, you know, on an hourly basis. I don't care. I'm focused on that peak, so to speak. Five billion in terms of market cap for ladies, it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Again, right? during the peak of this bull run. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.